in the dinosaurs and mammals we will be continuing our topic of the apes and humans in the previous part of this topic we have discussed that the earlier apes how they were uh, developing some anthropomorphic morphology as well as anatomy and today we will be continuing until they were uh, developing some uh, walking on the two feet as well as the intelligence of the human and ultimately how the ape gradually turned into the human being so the oldest human like forms are the ancestors of the human that we considered as the ancestor of human were found 4 million years ago right so they were found in the layers which were 4 million years old the molecular estimate of 5 million years ago for the split between the humans and chimps so that coincides that if we found the oldest human and if we see the studies the molecular studies which show that the chimpanzee and human shared a common ancestor that was 5 million years ago so this is some coincidence which tells us that both are these things which can be relied upon so in 2001 and 2002 the two french teams announced that human fossils that were 6 million years old so they were found in rocks that can be dated to 6 million years old and these were rocks that contained the human remains these were containing some organisms or some human ancestors in them so a number of incomplete human fossils reported during the 1990s from africa dated between 6 and 4 million years ago so these uh fossil record so there are some gaps but we can see a very elaborate uh, journey from the simple uh, uh, ape like humans to the normal humans and number of incomplete human fossils can be found in africa which were uh, discovered during 1990s and these are it may be that the sahelian uh, sahel anthropus and uh, ororin were already bipedal by 6 million years ago so these two uh, type of early human ancestors these were bipedal what does the bipedal mean that they were walking on the two feet if we see the other apes they are still walking on instead of two feet they are walking on the four feet so how does it happen right so the 6 million years ago these were the our ancestors that first started walking on the two feet an old our oldest ancestor that is spectacular skull of sahel anthropus from upper miocene of chad over 6 million years ago so you can see this uh, skull of uh, human ancestor so the oldest clear evidence of bipedalism how, uh, where do we see that there were some human ancestors they were walking on the two feet the human tracks in volcanic ash from the tanzania uh, 3.75 million years ago so uh, near uh, to the 4 million years ago 3.75 million year a quarter a quarter million uh, year uh, is different from the 4 million years and we can see the clear evidence of the bipedalism in the human ancestors the oldest substantial skeletons of preanthropus afarensis that was 3.2 million years ago so uh there were some tracks these were the, the tracks are sort of trace fossils we will be discussing about the trace fossils and the uh, then we see a complete skeleton of uh, an early human being which tells us uh, its structure its anatomy its skeletal structure tell us that this organism was walking on two feet instead of four so the name of uh, the famous skeleton of female uh, p afarensis from ethiopia uh, called lucy by discoverer john johansen in the 1970s as a rather modern humanoid pelvis and hind limb humanoid pelvis means that human like pelvis and hind limb means the legs and the pelvis combined is called hind limb and he called its specimen the skeletal specimen in the fossil record lucy here you can see the diagram of uh, the skeletal remains of lucy 
You can see the femur which indicates the upright posture. The pelvis is short and horizontal rather than long and vertical as in apes. The thigh bone slopes are towards the knees and toes can no longer be used for grasping. So we can see that apes can grasp things with their toes, with their feet as well, but not in this case. So Lucy's brain, however, is small, only 415 centimeter cube of a height of 1 to 1.2 meter, not much different from a chimpanzee. So her brain was like chimpanzee, her posture was like chimpanzee, but she was walking on two feet. And then there comes the Australopithecus. Uh, Australopithecus continued to evolve in Africa from about 3 to 1.4 million years ago and giving rise to small, large, robust species. So there were some small species that evolved from it and there were some large and robust species that evolved from it. And some of them were reached height of 1.75 meter and brain capacity did not exceed 550 centimeter cube or rather ape-like meter. So brain, uh, we as we have discussed in the earlier topics as well, bipedalism is still there and it has evolved first but the brain is still not evolved. And here you can see the skulls of fossil human in front and side views. The upper one A is Australopithecus Africanus and the lower one is the Australopithecus Boisei. So you can see their uh, ape-like structure in their skulls as well. And there comes the Homo habilis. Uh, uh, lived in Africa from 2.4 to 1.5 million years ago. Brain capacity of 630 to 700 centimeter cube in a body only 1.3 meter tall. So here the body stature is much more less but still has more brain capacity than its ancestral apes. It used tools that means the intelligence is evolving and it is supposed to be using the tools. And for over 1 million years ago, three, uh, for 1 million, for over 1 million years, that means the course of 1 million years, three or four different human species lived side by side in Africa. So there was not a single species, but three to four different species living in different parts of Africa. And we know that Africa is vast and it inhabited all of those species in it. And some of those species gave rise to the modern human. As we can see the next Homo habilis, the skull of fossil humans in front and side views. And here you can see the Homo habilis, the front and side view of the Homo habilis you can see. And it is much more human-like as compared to the uh, skulls that we have earlier seen. 